What's up, Zilla Nation? It's your boy, the Black Shit Hawk. Black Mocha, Black Dynamite with the Fro Hawk. I just got up out of bed and just came to work. I didn't brush it. Ugh, excuse me. I didn't brush it. I didn't comb it. I just left it alone. I just came to work. I don't come to work to look pretty. Came to come to work to make this money and uh, not give a fuck. You know what I mean? But uh, just saying what's up, man. It's another, another Friday. Y'all already know where I'm at. Try to get this money. You know how it be. But, yo, it's, just, uh, it's been some good days. Like I said, I've had a lot on my mind. But it's like, yo, man, the conversations I've been having with people lately has just been insane, man, how deep they're getting. You know, a lot of relationship shit, you know, thinking back with a lot of my previous relationships and stuff like that. And just, you know, me and, a, me and like, my main sources of who I talk to, it's so crazy how, like, we elaborate on things and we talk about, like, my exes and shit like that and how we can never understand like where shit went wrong like where did the 180 come from you know what i'm saying so it's pretty wild we talk about those things and think about it and it's like you know i really thought about this even deeper like, i never get no closure like the shit be shit will go left field for me and i'll get every fucking excuse in the book but i never get the truth so i think a lot of times too that's why a lot of my doors when it comes to a lot of things they be like they're open but they're not because it's just like i'm so used to seeing this and that you know what i'm saying and like again you know I'm a, I'm a big analyzer i would be fine if somebody said i don't want to be with you and they just move forward that'd be cool but it's like i get so much extraterrestrial bullshit and fuckery that it's just like wow okay like yo like z literally all my shit always goes from zero to 100 or 100 to zero it's wild but it's just like you know it i <laughs> It's so crazy. It's such a blessing in the disguise, even though it's fucked up a lot of my stuff. Remember, I used to do my story time Tuesday and shit all the time. But it's just like, I think about it, and it's like the person I am, the man I am today, it's like it's built around those things that have happened to me. You know what I'm saying? And I wouldn't take a lot, you know, trust me. Again, I'm going to laugh. <laughs> I have some good times. But at the same token, like really breaking everything down, it's like it's one of them type deals that um it is what it is man you know i feel like personally in life right now and the way society is i don't and i hate to be negative but i don't think i hope things change for the better but it doesn't look good at the end of the day because we have so many so many people lost and you know the people don't have values people don't have morals it's just they living in a fucking fantasy you know i was i'd be watching a lot of youtube stuff and i and i really make y'all laugh this is going to sound contradictory, but I watch a lot of YouTube stuff, but I don't. If you get my drift. I'm noticing with myself with the YouTube stuff now, I'm taking a step back because it's just like since the pandemic and everything going on, people are just they're, they're reaching just to put content out. And that's not me. But also, too, man, people just told me so much random shit. I just don't understand. Like, I don't get how, you know, I know marriage isn't for everybody, but it just makes me laugh. People who talk about, I want to have a kid, blah, blah, blah. You know, I don't want to do marriage. It's too expensive. Where the fuck is a kid cheaper? You know what I'm saying? Like, I just don't... The whole ethics to a lot of this shit I be seeing, I just be laughing. But also, too, it's just, you know, drama to be relevant. And I just don't... Again, I'm blessed that I don't have any children. I'm blessed that I actually I end up getting my nuts cut. Because I be real with y'all. I wouldn't be able to deal with a lot of bullshit that goes on today. I don't deal with it now. You know what I'm saying? So to even add more to it, I wouldn't be able to do it. It wouldn't happen. Real talk. I just don't, uh, I really don't get the thought process. You know, everybody, and, but it goes back to like previous videos I said where it's just like, you know, everybody wants to skip all these steps. And then you skip them steps and then things get fucked up. And you wonder what happened, but you, you're at number 10, but you skipped fucking one through nine. You just went to 10. Let's have a baby, you know? I don't, I don't know, man. I think, I think in society, people need to establish who they are first, know their self-worth and have some values and establish things before you go fucking putting a baby in everybody. Then you have that. Now you have children in an unhealthy household, an unhealthy relationship, because now, all right, well, I don't feel like dealing with my kid. Ah, uh, fuck that. I'm going to go bang another chick. Or if you don't, or same thing with the dude wise, like, you know, you got to realize who you laying down with, you know what I'm saying? Do your research. 
go through some things, build. That's why I said I'm on a three year plan. I want three years with somebody and it really break it really mess y'all all up. I'm having another deep conversation as always. This is why I said to a lot of people, they're like, oh, you're so young. If I was to meet somebody right now, the earliest we would consider having kids, I'd be 36, 37. Do I really want to do that? You know what I'm saying? This is what I'm saying. People don't think ahead. And this is why I just keep to myself. Like like I said, I, I really, not say I'm going to a dark place, but it's just like I'm really just getting more tunnel vision of what I need to do for myself. And it's just, you know, people don't get it because I'm a 1%. You know what I'm saying? People don't want to explain themselves. People want to come at me about this, this, and that. But then when I get at them and break shit down, they're like, hmm, they got boo-boo lip. Which is fine. You know what I'm saying? I Like I said to y'all, and I'm going to keep saying it, it's going to be a lot of changes for me in 2020, and it has been. And like 2021, I'm really cutting a lot of motherfuckers off. So that's why I want to work harder. I'm striving. I want to get a lot of shit done because financially, I want to get a lot of shit situated so a lot of people can't be cut off. You know what I'm saying? Because I really realized too, man, like my definition of friendship like, yeah, you know, somebody can't always be there for you. But in time of need, man, like I'm not going to be calling anybody my best friend and I can't depend on nobody. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's why I say I got a dot. And that's why I only really fuck. But like, I really only talk to I talk to like three people, three or four people on a daily basis. And out of those three or four people, I can really only rely on like two of them. You know what I'm saying? So it's just like and I know a lot of people, you know what I'm saying? But it is what it is. But people don't understand, man. That's why I just. I really just keep to myself, man, because I'm tired of arguing, tired of battling. I'm tired of the, the same circle of bullshit that I've been dealing with for years. So it's just like it's time for me to slowly, you know, close those doors and move forward. You know what I'm saying? My horizons have been brightened and I I just want I want better for myself, man. And I'm just tired of hearing the same old shit. Real talk. And that's why I said with the female thing, I'm really going to, my vlogs are going to really, until I can really get out and do my food reviews and do some other things, I'm really just going to be going more into my relationship stuff or what I've dealt with and get deep with y'all and what's going on. Because, you know, hey, you know, I hear the same show, oh, man, you're a good looking dude, you know, why this and that. I'm going to really mess y'all up. I had a, a older woman. It's I've been going to this place called The Experience. It's in Phillipsburg, New Jersey. Very great food. Um, they're from, it's funny, they're from like uh, Patterson, the owners, African-American couple. They've been been together. They got kids, grandkids, all that stuff. Big family. I barely know them. I went to the restaurant a couple of times. We built a little bit of rapport because usually a couple of Saturdays, probably three or four Saturdays in a row, I went there and got food because, you know, third shift life. I try to stay up on a Saturday so I can get some shit done. So, you know, it is what it is. So um, with that being said, you know, I'm talking to the owners and um, they were like, are you married? You got any kids? I was like, I'm no, ma'am. I was like, ma'am, I have my own house, own cars. Um, I'm not gay. Um, I like women. Uh, and you know what's crazy? Now, this older black woman said to me, you know, it's really going to be hard for you to find somebody. <laughs> and I don't know this lady at all. You know what I mean? Like, I, I'm, I feel like I've seen them in passing when I used to live in Jersey heavy. And travel, you know, I used to do a lot of shit in Jersey. I lived in Jersey for 10 years. But, you know, that's crazy. A woman of her stature, and they're established, very educated people. She's like, it's going to be hard for you to find somebody. Because I have a home. Now, how fucked up is that? And again, I've been cutting back on my cursing. I'm trying to be a little bit, a lot more intellectual with my uh, with my vocabulary. You know, it's a better way to explain yourself without using bad language. But sometimes I get amped up. And I tell you, I warn y'all, I get pissed off. But... I'm trying to calm it down. But, you know, really breaking stuff down, man, that's crazy. Man, you really ain't going to find somebody. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's going to be... She didn't say you're not going to find it. She, exactly her words were, it's going to be hard for you to find somebody. So, you put that in perspective, man. How fucked up is the world? You know what I mean? You know, how much more do you need to do? But you know what? I don't get mad. I love it. You know what I mean? This is This is what it is. That's the life. It's fine. You know what I'm saying? People don't understand where I'm coming from because, to be honest with you, people only look at one thing when they see me. They only hear them. And again, as I always told y'all, people don't listen to what I be saying. It's a dick in their ear. Excuse my French. But 
it is what it is. You know, when you really sit down and get to know me and want to speak and you really want to talk on an intellectual level and we can sit down and we talk about this, this and that, then you'll understand why I am the way I am and what I've experienced. You know, what I'm saying the good, the bad and the ugly. A lot of people just want to put on you their opinion and their value and not hear your side and be one sided, which is fine because that's the majority of society today. But I don't have to deal with that. And see, here's the thing, too. When I'm done talking, I'm done talking. You don't want to hear it. You want to keep coming at me with shit. We could battle all day about relationship stuff. I, I'll i even drink an energy drink. Really fuck you up. Y'all want me on no, y'all need me on an energy drink, but whatever, whatever. But again, that's my point with a lot of things. People want to say this and that, and I'm always ready to counter because I experience, and I, I'm not saying I'm the guru of messed up relationships, but I've been through a lot, a lot. You know what I'm saying? So... With that being said, you know, what you want to do, you know what I mean? And that's the thing. When you start breaking stuff down and getting to that nitty gritty, you know, people will, well, you know what? Well, you want the chick to do everything? No, it's not. I want the chick to do everything, but you didn't bring something to the table. It's got to be a 50-50 street. How is it I have all these things? I'm doing this. And you can't do the same. Like I said, I've been, you know, I've had, a, I got a young lady I was, you know, talking to in Cali. She's cool, but at the end of the day, man, your pudding cup's only going to go over so far. You know what I'm saying? You know, when you start getting in situations and breaking things down, what's going to happen in certain situations? Because if I got the money, if if you only came out here because I paid for your plane ticket or I picked you up, and I'm just, I'm going, I'm this is, I'm taking this in, in all the way around. At the end of the day, that means I'm still doing everything, even though it's on a financial thing. And that's my problem, and that's what people are not understanding, that it needs to be a 50-50 street. You know what I'm saying? Some people don't like it that way. Some people just want to hunt this person. That's fine, but that's not me. Because my thing is, I got to do more and more and more, but why should I? I'm, I'm doing everything I can now. You know what I'm saying? We should be coming together to build and do something epic. Not me working like a cotton slave and you reeking the benefits. That's not me, man. You know what I'm saying? And getting deeper into myself and my self-worth building even deeper than what it is and going to another level, because for every level is another devil. I ain't got time for all the crap, man. You know what I'm saying? Like, you, I hate to say this, and people could take this as they want, but you kind of know somebody's mindset of who they are after a couple conversations. If you if you just if you just somebody, you just talk about yourself, you ain't doing shit, it's... Nothing's going to change. And I hate to say it, being in my 30s now and dealing with older women and, you know, if somebody's been doing something for fucking 30 some years, they're not going to change. <laughs> hate to say it, they're stuck in their ways. So it's just like, I'm not going to be the dead horse with it. You know what I'm saying? But, you know, and I'm and again, I'm going to take this. I'm going to really even I'm going to throw a little, you know, Captain Hook in there, too. I go through the same thing with, with my male friends. You know, you talk all this shit. But what you doing? You know what I'm saying? Oh, I'm broke. I ain't got no money. But then you got all this shit. My definition of broke, I, I got to hit somebody up and get a couple of dollars. I ain't got no money. My account's negative. That's broke. <laughs> but when you have all these things, blah, 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 because we're not going to get into them. New Year, I'll get into some new stories when a lot of people are cut off. But for right now, I'm not doing that. I'm a, Some things need to, the doors need to be closed for a little bit on that. But we'll elaborate on that at, one, at another time. But my main goal right now is, man, to keep building, keep striving, because I got a thousand things on my agenda that I'm trying to do. So I'm really not getting caught up in the crap. You know what I'm saying? Like I said, I know a lot of people. I'm cool with a lot of people, but I really don't have any true friends. I really don't mess with the majority of my family. You know what I mean? So it is what it is, man. But I'm tired of one thing that I will not um, deal with on a daily occurrence is the disrespect factor. I'm tired of. There's one thing I'm tired of. I'm tired of people coming at me about blah, blah, blah. And then when I call them out, they got a problem. So if you want to hit the Teddy Graham and poke them and hit, take Winnie the Pooh's honey, that's fine. But I'm not going to be quiet. I Don't get me wrong. I do walk away with a lot of shit. Some people I just don't argue with no more. I ask questions and I get cursed out for that. It is what it is. But people gotta got to realize now it's a consequence for your action. So that's why I'm taking a step back and just going in the back cave doing what I got to do. But that's just something I wanted to share with y'all real quick, man. I might do another video in another couple hours. I'm on break right now. 
So I will holler. Let me get back to this grind. Another day, baby. No cap. Um, Everybody be good out there, man. Peace.